when 3x cubed plus mx squared plus nx plus 2 is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is 8. When the same polynomial is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 2. Determine the values of m and n. Let's rewrite the information from the question. When the polynomial is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is 8. Using the remainder theorem, we have p at negative 2 equals 8. When the polynomial is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 2. Using the remainder theorem, we have p at 1 equals 2. Let's outline the steps required to solve this. First, use p at negative 2 equals 8 to create a two-variable equation. Next, use p at 1 equals 2 to create a second two-variable equation. And finally, use substitution or elimination to solve for each unknown. Let's begin with p at negative 2 equals 8. Plug in negative 2 for x. Evaluate the powers and multiply. On the left side, negative 24 plus 2 equals negative 22. Add 22 to both sides of the equation to get 4m minus 2n equals 30. The equation can be reduced by dividing both sides by 2. This gives us 2m minus n equals 15. Now we'll move on to p at 1 equals 2. Plug in 1 for x. Evaluate the powers and multiply. On the left side, 3 plus 2 equals 5. Subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. This gives us m plus n equals negative 3. Eliminate one of the unknowns. If we add, we can eliminate n and solve for m. Adding the equations gives 3m equals 12. Divide both sides by 3 to isolate m. This gives us m equals 4. Now plug m equals 4 into either equation to get the value of n. In this example, we'll use m plus n equals negative 3. Replace m with 4. Subtract 4 from both sides of the equation to get n equals negative 7. We have now solved the problem m equals 4 and n equals negative 7.